Hello everyone, welcome to another video at Head Girls Eye. Today's topic will be probability part 2. Now before proceeding with this topic, I have told you that if you don't have factorial solve, then in my next video, I will make a separate video for this. So, how to solve factorials? Let's see. Suppose we have an equation NCR. So, when we open this equation, we get N factorial upon N minus R factorial multiplied by R factorial. Now, what does this factorial denotes? Let's see. So, suppose if we take an example 7C3, that will be equal to 7 factorial minus upon 7 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. Solving this, we further open up the factorial part and we get 7 into 6 into 5 and so on. And in the denominator as well, we do the same 7 minus 3, that will give us 4. So, we will get 4 ka factorial milega and multiplied by 3. So immediately we can write as 7 into 6 into 5 upon 3 into 2 into 1. ये easy करने के लिए आपको calculations को आपको एक बहुत help करेगा अगर आप question को इस तरह से देखेंगे तो solving this you can easily get to the answer as 35. Now let's proceed with our probability. So in the ball and back problems we have already seen three type of problems जहाँ पे हमने and as a connecting word use किया था और as a connecting word use किया था and उसके बाद हमने इन दोनों को यूज किया था। Now in the type four we will see जब one color ball is picked up. So in a bag there are four green and three blue balls. Three balls are picked at random. We have to find the probability that one of the ball is green. Now solving this we have four C one. Now four C one denotes that we have to pick that one ball is green. So there will be remaining two balls that will definitely be blue. So four C one because there were four in total the green balls and three the blue balls were there. Upon 7C3. Solving this equation, if you have the previous video wale tricks in which we have 4C1 from direct, how can we write it? And 3C2 we have very easily understood how can we write the direct answer. Likh sakte this will get to the answer as 12 upon 35. Type 5. When we ask a color which no one has not picked up. For example, in a bag there are 4 green and 6 blue balls. Two balls are picked at random. Probability that none is green. So, now we have a bag of total 10 balls and we have picked 2 balls from that bag. What will be the probability that we don't get one green ball in that bag? So, let's see. So, we need 0 green balls or 2 blue balls. We can directly write the answer as 6C2 because green we don't need to pick here. So, we will see the probability in blue balls. So, 6C2 upon the total number of balls that is 10C2. This will give you an answer as 15 upon 45. And your final answer will be 1 by 3. Now, you have to keep your attention to the options. As you have asked the question, you can write your answer according to that. Coming to the next part, that is at least. Now, in a bag, there are 4 green and 6 blue balls. 4 balls are picked at random. Probability that at least 2 are green. Now, understand the concept over here. The connecting word is at least. Now, what does at least mean? So, at least means that you have 2 minimum green balls. 2 से ज़्यादा भी हो सकते हैं, because in total we had to pick four balls. So the minimum value would be two. उसके बाद three भी हो सकती हैं, या four भी हो सकती हैं. Four हमारी total number of balls जो हमें pick करनी थी. अब इसकी equation हम कैसे बनाएंगे? So पहला जो हमारा part बनेगा equation में, that would be four C two, because minimum हम two का case लेके चल रहे हैं. So two balls अगर हमने green ले ली, तो remaining blue balls होंगी. तो two हमने blue balls में से ले ली. That will give us six C two. In the next step, when we see 4C3, so here we are seeing that 2 is already there with green. If we have picked one other, so that will give you 4C3. If there is one remaining blue ball, then 6C1. Similarly, in the last part, 4C4 and 6C0 will be there. Now, in the denominator, I have solved 10C4 differently. You can also take it in one denominator, but some students can be confused. That's why I have written it in every part. Solving this, you will easily get to you will easily get to the answer as 115 upon 210. Coming to the next part, that is at most. Now, you have to remember that your connecting word is at most now. So, in a bag, there are four green and six blue balls. Four balls are picked at random. Probability that at most two are green. Now, what is at most, it means that we can't pick more balls from it. In the past case, we saw at least two. So, we have considered cases in the case of the two. 3 and 4 क्योंकि टोटल हमें 4 बॉल्स पिक करनी है। When we see at most at the connecting word, so वहाँ पे हम जो मिनिमम होता है, हम उससे शुरू करेंगे and उस नंबर से ऊपर नहीं जा सकते। That's what at most means। So अगर हम इस केस की बात करें, 
तो यहां पे जो सबसे लोएस्ट नंबर होगा जो हम पिक कर सकते हैं ग्रीन बॉल्स के लिए दैट वुड बी जीरो सो जीरो वन एंड टू विल बी द मैक्सिमम दैट वी कैन पिक इन द स्लॉट सो फॉर्मिंग द सेम इक्वेशन जैसे हमने पहले क्वेश्चन में करी थी फोर सी जीरो इंटू सिक्स सी फोर जीरो हम इसलिए लेके चल रहे हैं बिकॉज ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि शायद हमारे पास सारी ही ब्लू बॉल्स आ जाए हो सकता है ये केस कि हमारे पास एक भी ग्रीन बॉल ना हो तो जीरो इज द फर्स्ट केस सिमिलरली फोर सी वन एंड फोर सी टू हमने डिसाइड कर लिया कि अगर एटमोस्ट था तो हमने जीरो से शुरू करना है एंड जितने भी हमें नंबर दिया हो ग्रीन बॉल्स पिक करने का हम वहां तक इक्वेशन को लेके जाएंगे सिमिलरली सॉल्विंग दिस इक्वेशन आप बहुत आसानी से इस आंसर पर पहुंचेंगे दैट विल गिव यू वन एटी फाइव बाई टू हंड्रेड टेन दैट वॉज ऑल इन दिस वीडियो इन दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो मैंने आपको दिखाई है सेवन मेथड्स आई होप आपके सारे प्रोबेबिलिटी के क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हो जाएंगे If you like this video do hit like and do subscribe to our headbulls eye channel thank you